thermometer is expected to hover around the 90 degree mark, as you heard Byron just say, right? With so many businesses and institutions on pause this summer, there could be more people at home. So will utility companies be able to keep up with that demand, right? We're checking in with Jamie McShane. He's the director of media relations for Con Edison to find out how the company is prepping for a possible heat wave. So good morning to you, Jamie. Thanks for making the time for us this morning. Good morning, Dan. Good to be with you. First, I want to address, Thanks for having me. of course, let me address the concerns real quick of a strike by nearly 8,000 union workers, because that would really affect all of this. Has a deal been signed? Is there any cause for concern right now? We are glad to, I'm happy to tell you, we, we re announced a tentative agreement uh, with the local one, two, and we feel we have an equitable and fair agreement for our, our employees yeah. and our customers. And uh, that'll be that was that was uh, over the weekend. So that's good news. Good news indeed. So now that summer has finally arrived, Jamie, we saw some issues last summer, right? So let's talk about how things have progressed, how you've made some changes. This is the first possible heat wave. A lot more people at home. So is Con Ed prepared to keep everybody up and running? Is the grid able to handle it? Sure. Uh, so the first thing we want everyone to know that there's been over $1.3 billion in, in investments in the system to upgrade the system all across the city. And uh, that includes, you know, the five boroughs in Westchester. Um, so we are as prepared as we possibly could be to, to address any problems that, uh, as soon as they arise. And as your, your forecast mentioned, it's going to be hot, uh, you know, through the weekend. We're, we're urging people to save energy, to, to uh, be smart about uh, not keeping your air conditioner running like a meat locker and, and, and setting that temperature to, uh, a little bit higher. And every degree higher that you set your AC, you save money on your energy bill. Do you have a number you'd There's like people to, to set it to? You know, I, I, it, we, we're asking people to just keep it to, to what they're comfortable with and just try to be mindful of not opening doors to rooms that are not, you know, there's nobody in the, in the room uh, adjacent. There's no reason to, to let the air conditioning yeah. go, go into that room. If you pull your blinds down and your shades, that can reduce heat by as much as 40% of unwanted heat comes through windows. So just drawing the blinds and drawing the curtains will save to, to keep the, 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 the house cooler. If you're, if you're cooking with your stove or your oven, you should do it at times like now, early in the morning or maybe later at night when it's not typically very hot. Um, if better yet, if you can use your microwave, the, that's uh, we're, we're we have lots of other tips like that on our hey, website. Good. We'll check the or, website out. But, uh, Jamie, I want to get to the power grid in particular, specific areas that were trouble spots last year that had brownouts and blackouts because of rising temperatures, right? A lot more people at home. So I know you said you made the improvements there, and, and that's good news there. Are there any specific neighborhoods in particular that you're paying close attention to as we head into this week? So as you mentioned, you know, people are working from home, so, so you have – the midtown office buildings that are, are, are not occupied right now, a lot of people are not in those offices. So in residential areas, in, in areas, you know, throughout Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, people are home. They're working from home. They're running Netflix and, uh, you know, video games and their ACs, mm -hmm. you know, during the day. That's going to that's something we, we have people monitoring that uh, daily, 24-7. Uh, and we're, we're really mindful of, of every neighborhood. Yeah, my question and, uh, was going to be, can you take that saved power, right, from all those empty office buildings? And I'm not, I don't know much about the grid, but can you take that and then move it to areas that actually need it? We are, by any metric, we are the most reliable electric delivery system in America. We have experts looking at, at, at you know, it's divided into, to keep it simple, the, the city's divided into into different networks. Mm -hmm. Each one of those networks is monitored 24-7 and, um, you know, we're ready to respond whenever there's a problem. And um, in, in particular, in particular, um, you know, sections of Staten Island, there was a lot of overhead improvements. Yeah. The, the system in, in Staten Island is 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 over overhead. So there were major improvements to overhead wires few seconds in Brooklyn left, Jamie. and in the Bronx. We have a yes. few seconds left. I just want to touch upon the program called Operation Get Cool, 74,000 units for low-income houses and senior citizens as well. How is Con Edison helping those folks pay for their bills? Because, you know, AC, sure. the, 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 the utility bill goes up. So we worked with NYCHA. We just announced, uh, we, we inspected uh, the NYCHA buildings that needed upgrades to their service. There's low income program, there's low income discount programs on our website. We're helping people who are having struggle, who are 
trouble paying their bills, contact us, find out about those assistant programs, and the NYCHA upgrades uh, are going to help people uh, and those buildings mm -hmm. uh, take advantage of the, of the air conditioner program that was announced by the city. Very good. Okay, Jamie, I appreciate your time this morning. Jamie McShane from Con Edison. It's going to be a uh, telling few days to see how this all plays out. The first test here with the heat wave, so stay cool to you, okay, and all your workers out there who are in those trucks working in those hot temperatures. Thank you to them.